So we got some breaking news out of MLS, even though technically this isn't really breaking news. It kind of happened early this morning. But Greg Vanny have decided to step down as TFC head coach. And I'm pretty sure this kind of came co completely out of left field and that nobody saw this this one coming. I mean, you know, I know that Greg Vanny, he was kind of kind of out of contract after this offseason. But there was already a lot of talks of him potentially getting a new contract extension and that he was going to stay with Toronto. But not a lot of people, including myself, would have thought that today he decided that he's not going to continue with that talk and that he is just going to decide to step down as the head coach of TFC. And, you know, looking back at the ten tenure that Greg Vanny is with TFC, there's no doubt that he is going to go down as, as currently the best head coach that have ever ever coached this TFC side and that that when he came in to this Toronto team back in 2014 he single-handedly has turned this team to be do to become a regular MLS Cup contender from a, a team that is regularly in in the bottom of the table in the Eastern Conference and I know there's gonna be some people will say well he was given the tap talent to basically be successful at TFC well yes but just because you're given the talent to, to potentially be successful doesn't mean that you could definitely be suc successful. You still need a head coach that needs to know what he, he's doing and also needs to get out of those good players that you bought during the transfer window. And there's no doubt that Greg Benny did that and probably even even more with the way that he had basically made this team reach MLS Cup pretty much almost every single year, three out of the last five season, uh, reach reach uh, the CONCACAF Champions League multiple times, including be almost becoming the first ever MLS team to win the CONCACAF Champions League if it wasn't for them losing a penalty kick shootout. And then, of course, winning multiple Canadian Championship too. And let's also not forget about the treble season in 2017 when they won the MLS Cup, the Supporter Shield, and the Canadian Championship and becoming the first MLS team to ever win a domestic Dick Treble. I mean, that is just some incredible achievement that he ha has made. And that I also think that at the same time, there was a lot of underappreciation of what Greg Van Neat has been when he, he was the coach, head coach of TFC. And that I think he is going to go down as not only one of the best head coach of all time, but probably the most underrated head, head coach of all time with the, the, the thing that he done with TFC during that time. But now with Brett Vanny no longer the head coach of Toronto, obviously now TFC is going to be in a situation where they're kind of in a scramble now this off season where they're going to have to find a new head coach. And you know the other thing that I think what shocks many people is the fact that the timing of this. I mean TFC is not really going through a rebuild heading into this off season. I mean sure yes they definitely had some ver some guys that is Definitely near the end of their career, guys like Michael Bradley and especially Josie out the door, where there's still question of what his future is going to be with this team. There's still some young guys on this team for for TFC to potentially be successful in the the future, and that yeah, you know, it's kind of surprising the fact that Greg Vanny decided that this was really the time for him to step down, and it's not like he decided to step down because of the fact that he might have some some potential opportunity in your Europe to basically coach a team there and pretty much follow this the footstep of Jesse Marsh to potentially coach in Europe uh, there was no rumors surrounded on that uh, they might be if, if we might get a, for a more detail in the upcoming days but yeah this is definitely kind of surprising the fact that this was the time that he decided to step down and you know if you're an MLS team that without a head coach right now there is no doubt right now you are quickly reaching your phone and trying to contact Greg Vanny right now and I have heard there are a lot of people say that he potentially would go to the Galaxy although there's no rumors or reports saying that he potentially would be coaching the Galaxy next but that could actually be a good fit knowing the fact that you know the Galaxy they also have a relatively decent squad and that if you, of course, are going to give a decent squad to Greg Vanny and you're willing to spend money to basically improve the team, he's going to be be a su successful with your team and he's going to regularly get you to become 
a regular contender in MLS. So I won't be surprised if the Galaxy might think about it, or even Atlanta United might even think about it, knowing the fact that they also have have a team that they're building to try to to go back to the level that they were in their first free season in MLS. He could potentially go to Atlanta too, but we shall see whether or or not if he's going to once again coach in MLS. Well, actually, that's probably probably an easy question to answer it's obviously yes that he is going to get another coaching gig around this league but the biggest question is who exactly he's going to coach next but yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think of this if you're a tfc fan i'm pretty sure you are shocked as i am with with this this announcement but let me know in the comments below what what do you think of it and who do you think is going to be the next head coach of tfc right now i mean there's so far no rumors of who exactly is going to be next in line but i think in the upcoming days and probably when we get to the news of the week tomorrow maybe i would mention who potentially could be the next candidate of of taking charge of this team after greg vanney inexplicably basically decided to step down as the head coach of toronto but let me know in the comments below and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time <laughs>